Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So where you should publish your research paper, whether it's, it should be in a conference or in a journal. So this is a common confusion between students uh, when they, are, uh, they, they have to decide for joining PhD or you know any kind of research uh, position that where they should publish their paper. And this is something that also, I also had when I was joining ISC because I have seen many of my friends they are publishing the paper in some reputed journals. On the other hand, there are some other friends, they are publishing the paper in some, uh, you know, international conferences. So I used to wonder, you know, what is the difference where I should publish my paper uh, when I'll be doing a research or I'll be joining PhD. So there is a basic difference between both of these, uh, the way uh, conference is to process a paper and the way journal is to process the paper. And where you should publish, uh, publish your paper, that is also you know there is a definite answer for this that depends on on which domain you are doing your research so i'll come to that after some time so first i will tell you that what is the difference between you know submitting a paper uh, in a conference and getting it accepted there compared to you know accepted in in some reputed journal so first let's talk about the conference one so conference have a very strict uh, timeline uh, so there will be a specific uh, you know day or specific uh, time of a particular day within which you have to submit the paper in the conference portal and then you know they will take around two two months to review the paper uh, so there will be like three to four reviewers uh, across the world who will be assigned to review your paper so most of the time uh, you know conference are double blind so neither the reviewer will get to know who has written the paper so they will they won't be knowing that uh, your name or your affiliation on the other hand you also won't be knowing who whoever has uh, reviewed your uh, paper what is their name what is their affiliation so this is called double blind then after two months you'll be getting reviews from the reviewer so reviewer will uh, you know give you some reviews uh, they might ask you some question uh, they will obviously give you a rating uh, so typically there are uh, four to five rating so it might get you know completely reject it might be weak reject that means you know it, it it's reject only but you know it's not completely reject it's on the borderline there is a weak accept that is means you know it's positive side then there is accept that is good and there is strong accept that means your paper must be you know uh, accepted in a conference so these are the generally five uh, rating that is there for any conference so these reviewers will give you a rating and they might ask you some questions uh, in, in in the review then there will be a window of one to two weeks within which you have to answer the questions that has been asked by the reviewers. So this is called rebuttal window of any conference. Then once you submit all the you know re, uh, answer for the reviews, then the conference will again take one month and the reviewer will reassess your paper based on the reviews that you have given. And then the final outco outcome will come at the end of one and one and a half months. So typically the uh, you know time period. Uh, for review your paper in a conference is three to four months within three to four months you'll get to know whether your paper is getting act accepted in a conference or if it, uh, it is getting rejected so this is the typical timeline uh, for any conference and then once your paper got accepted you have to go attend the conference because conference will be happening in in, in any country uh, for one week so you have to go there you have to present your work so you have to do a lot of things like you have to submit a and a fresh version of the paper then you have to uh, apply for the visa you have to book the ticket you have to collect the fund and so many things is there so this is the typical you know procedure for a conference now coming to the journal part so journal on the other hand they don't have any timeline it's open throughout the year you can submit the paper any time of the year so there is no strict deadline for it so whenever your paper is uh, you know ready you can you can you can submit it to the journal uh, uh, you know portal so their process is also not that fast like as i said then for conference the process is very fast within three to four months you will get the notification but for journal for getting the reviews it might be you have to wait for three to four months so in my first paper it was in it was in a journal so it took me around four months to get the reviews from the reviewer then you know as i said for conference there will be a rebuttal period for two weeks where you have to answer the re uh, questions that has been asked by reviewers on the other hand in jour journal uh, you, you you may take four to five weeks to answer the questions that is raised by the reviewers so here also there will be a an, uh, you know sufficient amount of time that will be given to you to think about it and then write the reviews and all uh, for the journal and finally again you know after you submit the answer for the question asked by the reviewer uh, then also you know they will again take one to two months and then finally your uh, you know final decision will be coming so overall you know for journal the process is a bit slower and it's lengthy 
because you know it's open throughout the year so that's why many people are submitting any time of the year and they they used to wait for i think uh, some some amount of paper to get accepted in a bulk and i think then they process um, all the papers together so that's why it takes a lot of time to get the review and final decision and on the other hand in general there is no uh, concept of you know going to any place and present the paper so once your paper got accepted that's it there is no other work that you have to do it's up to the up to the journal how they will process it and how they will publish so this is the main difference between a journal and conference in conference it's very fast it's very the deadline is very strict uh, so you have to do all the things uh, within that deadline but on the other hand for journal uh, there is no such strict deadline so that's why you can you can uh, submit the paper anytime but you have to wait a, wait a uh, bit because the process is slow and lengthy finally i'll tell you where you should uh, submit your paper so it depends on uh, you know in which community you are working on if you are working on computer science or machine learning specifically our community is more focused towards uh, conference so in our community if you have to publish your paper and if you have to get recognized through your paper you need to publish it to some international conferences because most of the eminent researchers of our uh, community they they focus on publishing the paper in uh, different international conferences that's why we have these conferences like icml international conference for machine learning then iclr international conference of representation learning then aaa associations for advancement of uh, artificial intelligence so this kind of reputed a star conferences happening on machine learning on the other hand if you are working on some pure science domain like physics chemistry or you know material science or uh, physical science then you know their research community is more focused on publishing the paper on any uh, reputed journal like nature is there ITPLE transaction and lot of other uh, you know journal is there so if you have to if you are working on that direction or that domain where you are supposed to you know publish the paper in some reputed journal so it uh, you know it completely depends on what uh, research uh, problem that you are working on what research domain you are working and and based on that you know the community uh, wherever they are interested in conference or journal you have to publish the paper there yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i hope by now uh, you have you have all the answers that where you should publish a paper whether it's via conference or a journal uh, so please share this video and if you have liked this video please like it and you know please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i will up up upload a video you will get an instant notification that's it guys that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then